Hi guys. Today in this video, I will be making a simple and powerful voltage regulator using LM317 but with up to 40 amperes output current. This circuit is simply based on LM317 IC since the LM317 can only give 1.5 ampere output current so I use MOSFETs to bypass the current from input to output while voltage is still controlled by LM317 IC. Also I added another 12 volt regulator for driving the fan and DC voltmeter to measure the output voltage. And for easy assembly I converted the schematics into the PCB. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link us in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, visit jlcpcb.com. And here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLC PCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces as for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I clean the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Use a good sized heatsink like this. And use thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Also use silicone pads for better insulation. Use plastic bushings for further insulation. I used 40 mm cooling fan for heatsink. And of course add a knob to the potentiometer. Now let's connect input DC supply. And output voltage can be set with this potentiometer. And the best part, output voltage can be seen on display. In first test I used 21 watt bulb, which consumes about 2 amperes of current, as you can see you can control brightness by adjusting the output voltage. In second test I used 2 bulbs in series, to supply 24 volts to load. And as you can see it perfectly withstands by supplying higher current. And in third test I used 3 bulbs in series. And as you can see it perfectly works fine and regulates the output without any problem. 
This circuit will be quite useful as a lab bench power supply for small applications. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.